Hello and welcome to my first ever water cooling video. This is actually my first video ever of doing any sort of work on my computer, so I'm really excited for this. And thanks for watching. I hope to bring you more like this in the future. So I'm going to be doing uh, installation of some water cooling parts in this new case that I just bought on a CPU. Just going to be installing the CPU water block on a CPU motherboard that I've been using for a couple years now. The i7-2600K Sandy Bridge processor. It's great overclocking CPU. So, first I'm going to do a little unboxing of these parts, an overview of the parts that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to show you how I install all of these parts. So, let's get right to it with the unboxing. This is the case that I just got for everything to go in, the Fractal Design Arc XL. It's a full tower case, but I think it's a little bit smaller than my last case, which is the Antec 1200, which is a good case. It's been it's performed very well for me, but it's not a good water cooling case, so I had to replace it with something that's better. So, here's the inside. You see there's plenty of room for water cooling. I'm going to have my drive bay reservoir slash pump right here in the bottom two drive bays. And then I'm going to have my radiator here in the front. And let's see, there's space to install the fans here in front. So I'm going to be putting in the two 120 millimeter fans in here, which are my ugly Noctua fans. So you shouldn't be able to see them here in the front. It obviously restricts them to a push configuration, or you can get push-pull. I may end up getting two more fans later for a push-pull configuration, but if I do, I won't get the Noctua ones because they're too ugly to be seen on the inside of the case in, a, in, a, in the pull spot. So, you've got that. And it, also, this case comes with a 140 millimeter fan pre-installed in the top spot here. So I already uninstalled that 140 millimeter fan and I actually put it up in the top. So yeah, that about does it for this case and how it's gonna work. So here we have my water block, it's the EK Supremacy. It's a pretty popular water block. There are a lot of videos out there already on this water block, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, just do a quick unboxing here, open it up. <clears throat> I've actually already unboxed this a little bit. Uh, so we've got these screws here, here's a manual underneath. This is the actual CPU water block right here. Yeah, as you can see, I've already opened it up. Uh, it didn't come with the seal broken like that. That was me who did that. <clears throat> uh, the sticker underneath, going to take that off before I install it, of course. And here is... CPU block with the circle square design, the controversial design. Of course, a lot of people don't like it, but I think that it's 
pretty good. <clears throat> I'm expecting it to grow on me. And I also really just like the fact that you can see the coolant flowing through the block. So that's really nice. And then under here, got the thermal paste that comes with it, a back plate, and then all the way at the bottom of the box, underneath the foam pad. Moving right along, I'm going to show you the pump and the reservoir that I got to go in this system. This is the Swift Tech Maelstrom. It's a drive bay reservoir. <clears throat> takes up two drive bays <clears throat> and of course I unboxed this one a little bit <clears throat> and as you can see it, it came with two barbed fittings on it and I already took one of the barbed fittings off and replaced it with a compression fitting I may do that as well with this fitting we'll see so Here's the front of it, what you'll see out the case. Uh, you can see the coolant flowing inside, and also it gives you a temperature reading of the coolant inside. There's a little thermometer in there that reads the temperature and displays it on the front of your case. So I really like that feature of it. Um, and then inside I'm going to have this Mayhem's Aurora nebula blue fluid so you'll be able to see that flowing inside the system you all may have noticed this sitting in the background this uh, of course is the radiator that I got I already unboxed it and hooked up a 45 degree angle compression fitting and the tubing to this because like I said, this is my first time doing all of that, and I wanted to see how that works for myself before I started doing the video. So this was my first ever compression fitting that I ever hooked up in my life, and it went very well. So as you can see, I can pull on this tubing, you know, hang the radiator from the tubing. It's not going to fall off. It's very strong. So that was very easy to put on. And this is my Alpha Cool Monsta 80 millimeter thick radiator. The thickest radiator on the market. Uh, 240 millimeter, I think I might have said that. Yeah. So it comes with this box of screws. And this is the tubing that I'm going to be using with it. It's the Primo Chill Blue, um, what whatever it's called, advanced like LRT, I think. Uh, so yeah, it's basically the best tubing on the market. I've heard the Primo Chill tubing. So I'm gonna be using this, and I'm gonna be mounting the radiator in the front of my case. And the fans that I'm going to be mounting with the radiator are these Noctua NFF12PWM fans, which I've heard are basically the best fans on the market. They're, of course, very expensive, so... They better be good. I haven't actually used these fans before, but they come highly recommended. So, they're ugly as hell. Uh, I really don't like... I think if you asked me to come up with the worst looking color scheme in the world for a case fan, this is probably what I would have come up with. I mean, it's just gross. It looks like vomit. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be hiding this uh, fan away in a part of the case where you can't see it. Uh, and 
Yep, you can see the airflow direction right here. It's got kind of a short cable, but then these are longer. I think uh, it's supposed to have a low noise adapter. Oh, okay, here's the low noise adapter, which I'm going to be using. So it's going to hook up like that. Okay. So that makes it a, a bit longer with the low noise adapter. Oh, this is... Oh, and then it comes with an extension cable. That's what this is. That's great. I may be needing that. This is... It says a Y cable. I'm not sure... Oh, I see. It's... Yeah, it... Makes two... It connect... I'm not sure if you would use this to connect two fans into one or to split one fan cord into two. I'm not sure, but if you use this for splitting cables or for merging cables. But either way, I don't think I'm going to be using this. It's got these rubber screws, which may come in handy for, for these rubber screws, which can go in Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it goes in beyond that. So I don't I think it just goes in about halfway like that. So anyways, that's it for my Noctua fans, my Alpha Cool Monster radiator and everything else. So, uh, let's get to the installation.